Hey hi, I am Anugha and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am new here so I would love it if you would shower me with some love and support through those tiny buttons you see down below. Like, share and subscribe and while you're at it, don't forget to click the bell icon because you will never miss a video update from me. Disclaimer before I start this video, I am not a Gyan Guru. So with that, let's get started. So I am a blessed child. I was born to a parents who have had very difficult beginning and then uh, they moved on to with their own struggle and with their own hardship they moved on to becoming uh, you know they had like a middle class youth and they they were really smart enough to you know invest on time save so much and they they built uh, their life very well I would say they, they're a very uh, you know upper middle class happy family so I was born into something like that both my sister and I were pampered a lot our pampered a lot and but we were taught the right things I would say because my parents had really you know uh, hard beginnings so we did have a car but we were always taught to you know walk it across or take a bus instead of even calling for a cab or taking an auto and we did have nice dinners at home as well but we were taught that if we had leftover food from yesterday we should just reheat and eat and not really waste food and if our footwear the slipper broke down then we were taught to you know go to that small thela and get uh, it stitched instead of really buying a new uh, footwear altogether though I don't really follow this anymore otherwise I still take uh, buses and I still like walking over uh, any other means of transport for transit basically and we were constantly reminded to turn off the lights and fans and other you know water tap when it was not necessary for us I mean that's in short how I was raised but of course life happened and I have learned from life as well and hence here I am to share with you five life lessons and a story behind why this uh, how or why this lesson was important to me and a story behind how this lesson uh, came across why it is important to me so with that let's get started number one is nothing happens nothing happens overnight everything needs time and we need to be patient so this dates back to 2017-18 when I had quit my uh, wedding planning job and I wanted to start up on my own and I tried everything possible or so I thought so I tried several things but I just couldn't start up and I also tried several other jobs but nothing really seemed to work I blamed everything around me for my failure uh, except for myself I felt that the city that I lived in didn't have enough opportunities I didn't get clients I should have learned business instead of engineering and so many other reasons so looking back to 2018 I feel like the entire reason for my failure was me I didn't put in enough efforts into this and I was just waiting for a magic to happen anything that I picked up I thought for it thought about it for a while for a week or so did a couple of YouTube uh, searches and Google searches assumed that it is going to be difficult and left it at that for example, like I said in my first video that I wanted to start YouTube channel at 2018 itself but I didn't because in 2018 when I was doing research on how to start a YouTube channel and all, I realized that YouTube is going to be very very uh, time consuming and it's going to take a lot of time to give results and I wanted to be successful in like two months. But I don't know what happened one day, everything changed. I, uh, I stumbled upon a career on social media and I had it in me to kind of put in all the efforts that I really did. It could probably be passion that I have for social media. I've been, uh, you know, very active on Instagram ever since 2015. And then uh, I was all, before that I was on uh, Facebook and if, even before that I was on Orkut and all of that. I think I like the idea of social media and that's why I gave this um, career a truly serious try it uh, it was about over six seven years of using social media three years of rigorous learning and then one year of extreme hard work 
and dedication towards my business that my business is the uh, where it is it's not huge but it is where it is and if all of this taught me one thing it is that we need to be patient and it it just takes some time to build anything and you need to put in a lot of effort to even expect a teeny weeny kind of result the second thing that i learned will be little more kindness you never know what the other person what the person in front of you is thinking right what they are going through so little more kindness so i once heard this story uh, probably on social media that um imagine this you are driving a car and then the car in front of you is really slow and you are already getting annoyed the road is empty why don't why can't the car just drive faster and then suddenly you notice like a small note at the back of the car and it says the owner and the driver of this car has a prosthetic leg and hence cannot drive easily on a regular pace please consider this and drive past this car now after you read this what suddenly happens is that you feel empathetic about this person and you feel good about this person having to you know even driving making the effort to drive when they have a prosthetic leg and you're suddenly kind and you're suddenly nice and you suddenly either walk a drive behind them or you just drive past them and have only good things to think about this person but imagine the same situation but you hadn't seen that note you would only be annoyed at the situation annoyed at the person who's driving the car The point here is guys nobody comes with a note or a disclaimer everybody has their own sh- share of problems their own uh, things to deal with in life they don't give you warning signs always in fact people are really really good at faking their happiness people are really really good at sh- hiding their problems and issues that they are facing when i was also struggling with my career uh i was very close to depression i was changing jobs and i was not happy at all in any of the things that i was doing and i was already dealing with a lot of things in life when one of uh somebody that i know actually texted me and asked when we were in between a conversation they asked me hey what do you uh, do right now because i've kind of lost track this left a mark on my mind i was already dealing with so many things in life right of course they wouldn't have uh you know meant anything bad with this question i know that they wouldn't have really thought of this as a, a wrong question to ask i don't blame them at all but the point here is you never know what the other person is going through so please kind of be kind and think of what you're going to tell to the other person of course it is really hard to never hurt anybody but little bit kindness little more kindness never hurts anybody point number 3 what i learned is much less judgment of course i mentioned this in my first video as well you never know what the person in front of you has been through so please don't judge i watch a lot of interviews be it film actors business owners successful people and so on and i was once watching anushka sharma's interview and uh, this was around uh, you know casting couch and how women apparently go through certain demands uh, from the casting couch before they are casted as lead actresses in movies and anushka sharma was mentioning how she was lucky enough to not go through any of these she didn't have to encounter any of such situations in her life and someone from the audience asked what would she do had she encountered something like this and what anushka sharma said at that moment really really changed my thought process she told who knows you never know i wasn't in that situation you never know how bad somebody wants something you know never know what they are in a such situ- in what kind of a situation they are to say yes to these kind of bizarre requests i don't know what i would do back then i can't answer it hypothetically right now because i haven't faced that back then and i am right here i'm now here so i don't know what i would do what i realized at that moment was It's very easy to say that oh my god that girl or that boy did wrong by doing this 
right we never know what what kind of situation they are in have i walked in their journey have i been through what they have been through have i walked in their shoes have i faced what they have faced no right then how can i just say that if i was in that situation i would do this and they are wrong it's definitely not the same and then 2020s resolution went on to become much less judgment to me the fourth thing that i learned from life itself is that only if you change something you do every single day will you see changes in your life think about this so many of us want a significant change in our lives a big promotion a career shift some kg to lose or gain better hair better skin start up a business learn music learn dance scale up your business be an expert at yoga right but if you want such a big change to happen in your life then you need to do something on an everyday basis when i started off as a freelancer i knew i liked this profession and other than uh, compared to the other things that i did in life and i knew that if i had to make this work i have to work every single day i'm not at all glorifying working on weekends over here i have taken my breaks i have had my chill days but what i did in the past one year or so is that i have worked every single day at least an hour at least two hours but i have worked every single day it need not be the core work itself probably i wrote a blog probably i attended a webinar or i probably learned something uh, some a new hack on canva but i was doing something towards my business every single day and i know that has made a really good impact to my work because in this span of one year i have uh, gone to become an online business owner from just a content writing freelancer i now have multiple income sources and i myself pay a full time employee and a couple of freelancers as well and i'm continuously coming up with new business ideas whereas i wanted to learn dance i wanted to be an expert at yoga and i wanted a couple of other changes in my life as well but i still don't know how to dance papu can dance sala <laughs> and i still cannot do more than a couple of asanas in yoga why because these things though i really wanted them in life i never gave it so much time and effort i never put in so much effort to into it this at all i didn't enroll into any dance or yoga classes i didn't even try to learn dancing through probably youtube channel or something hence it only makes sense why i cannot dance and i don't i'm not still great at yoga if there is one thing that you would take home from this entire video it would be this thing this tip if you want something really bad in life write it down somewhere and probably put us that put that sticky note on your table or uh, on your vision board or anywhere that is possible make an effort into this thing every single day every single day at least 15 to 30 minutes and if you have more time yes then great and 3 to 6 months from now if you don't see any changes then come to me let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make an entire video on how to build habits point number 5 that life has taught me is that gratitude being grateful can change your life and your mindset i kind of feel that being grateful showing gratitude to the things that to the good things that you have in life is like a great way to happiness it all started when i was very miserable about my life about what is happening in my life and all of that because of course my career was not set and i did this instagram a story series of 24 things that i'm grateful about in 24 years of my life and every single day i put up one thing that i'm really grateful in life this was not just an instagram challenge or a series that i did what uh, this was about is i really sat down and i realized how much gratitude i have towards this one thing that is great uh, in my life it was probably my mother my father my sister the friends that i have my husband the healthy body that i live in uh, the fact that i can travel the ability that i have to cook and drive 
because those are like the basic life skills so all of these uh, things that i noted from my life and i wrote down gratitude for these things towards the end of the series i also uh, noted uh, down the negative sides of each of these things that i was talking about and what i tried to show everybody and myself specifically was that every single thing in your life has a negative side but you choose what you want it to be do you want to be grateful about the good thing or do you want to sulk about the sad thing and this exercise that i did myself completely changed the way i look at life i tend to see the positive th- side of everything now of course i have my bad days of course i cry but i tend to uh, you know be happy be cheerful about most of the things in life and then about 6 months later in the, uh, june 2020 i started using this app called presently in this app what you need to do is you need to uh, uh, write down one thing you are grateful about on that particular day it has dates and you can write down what is that one thing that you are really grateful about in that day this can be as simple as uh i had really less cramp on the first day of my period or made time to sh- shoot two uh, weeks reels today or it can be as big as i brought a puppy home and sometimes i also remember writing uh you know i'm grateful uh, that this day has gone probably that day was not really great for me because of course every day cannot be the great day right we will of course have uh, sad days so yeah that is also something that i uh, note down basically every single night before i go to sleep i take about a minute and i open this app and think about how my day went and then i write i smile and thank uh, you know the universe for me giving me this day and that one thing that i'm really grateful for i have been doing this for 8 plus months now and i can really really vouch for this habit it's definitely definitely life changing so many of them don't have half the things that you have yet you look at only the things that others have and you don't why stop doing this to yourself of course work towards what you want but be grateful about the things that you already have i'm going to leave the link to this app in the description box below of course it's not sponsored by them but it's an app that has really helped me with that i am done explaining to you five things that life has taught me i would love to hear your thoughts on these let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family and before leaving don't forget to click on that red button down there subscribe that is that and this is me signing off honestly anukha I am grateful for in that day